and rates remain unchanged. 0% on the referee rate, the marginal lending facility, 25 basis points, the depot rate left unchanged at 60 billion, at negative 40 basis points, and the asset purchase program remains at 60 billion euros. As for the guidance from the ECB, here it is as follows. The ECB sees rates at a present level for an extended period. QE to run until the inflation path has sustainably adjusted. Sees QE running until the end of December or beyond if needed. So the line in there that the QE will run until the inflation path has sustainably adjusted and that they can adjust QE in size and duration if the outlook worsens. So that line on the QE program, the guidance around it, that the ECB can adjust it in size and duration if the outlook worsens. A lot of people were looking to see whether that was removed. It stays in. So the action for euro dollar, we're on a session low of about 114.87, down by about a quarter of 1%. Still with us to walk through it all is Michael Sneed of BNP Paribas from London, Andrew Wilson from Goldman Sachs Asset Management as well. So Michael, let's just turn to you very quickly. On the margin, some people did think they'd remove that one line about the guidance around the QE program. It stays in. Is that significant at all? So we weren't expecting that line to be removed. So you know, that's no great surprise. Really, I think the focus is going to be on Draghi's uh, comments and how much he refers to the exchange rate and more explicitly how much he thinks there is potential uh, for inflation to decline over the coming months. Now, our view is that inflation in the eurozone could drop back to one percent headline inflation so if he starts to acknowledge more that story because of the currency that could start to have more of an impact on markets uh, Andrew how about you when you take a look it seems like yes some areas of the market were expecting that language to be removed I was hearing a lot of hawkish uh, statement dovish rhetoric so is this a surprise I don't know if it's a surprise, but it's certainly at the dovish end of the spectrum, right? And I think that link through to inflation is also an important point. Uh, and Michael referenced it there. We would agree that, if anything, European inflation is likely to have some downward pressure as a result of the falling oil price, as a result of the stronger euro. So the fact that the ECB has linked that through to the inflation rate might make it more difficult for them to really accelerate any unwind. So I think it's, it's interesting, but we would put it very much at the, the dovish end of the spectrum.